So this is the, uh, the HP Via device that we announced a couple of days ago in uh, in San Francisco. As you can see, it's a it's a, a, a full full powered smartphone, but in a in a sort of uh, much more compact size. Um, it's primarily design led. We have uh, we've got a lovely glass 2.6 inch screen, metallic buttons, um, a magnetic charging connector, and slide the device open. It reveals a uh, a perfectly formed um, QWERTY keyboard. We've uh, really optimised that for its clicky feel um, and uh, a real responsive, uh, it's a very accurate keyboard. Um, but what really makes this device um, uh, so powerful, really, is uh, aside from the Qualcomm 800 meg processor and uh, 512 meg of RAM and 8 gigabytes of storage, is WebOS. And uh, as you can see here. WebOS uh, supports, um, as it, as it uh, always did, was true true multitasking. I can launch multiple applications at the same time. Uh, but now in WebOS 2, I can overlay these cards, we call them cards, into um, a stack view, allowing me to arrange activities into, into multiple stacks of an activity. And uh, I can uh, work in those and switch between them very easily. And when I've finished, I can just throw them away off the screen. We also have uh, Just Type, which uh, is a the new phrase. We have a new name for Universal Search, allowing you to access the, the device and perform quick actions rather than having to find a, an app and navigate through the launcher. I can literally start typing on the keyboard and um, very quickly make a call, find an application, perform a device search or a Google search. I can launch applications that are on the device and search for those. But interestingly, I can also start new activities as well here. So maybe start a new message or an SMS, um, or even update my Facebook status directly here from within just time. Now, third party applications can add their functionality into here as well, as well as the native capability. In 2.1, we've also added the, uh, a richer capability to manage your built-in accounts. HP Synergy allows you to synchronize information from multiple places in the cloud. And as you can see here in the Accounts app, I can configure exactly which information I want to synchronize to the device. So within Exchange, I can set email contacts calendar address within Facebook. Maybe uh, I want Facebook calendar with contacts. It's bringing in Facebook photo and Facebook contacts. But I've got more control. I can. It's really on my terms. Um, and I can have multiple Exchange accounts. Third parties can now also plug into this system as well. So it's not limited to just the partners that, um, that HP is working with. And uh, the way that manifests itself on the platform, Synergy is really deeply integrated into the native applications. So here in the Contacts app, what appears as a, a regular con list of contacts is actually built from information coming from multiple sources. So the number three there shows that Jocelyn's information, although it looks like one presentation and we've eliminated the duplicates, is, um, is coming from those different sources. Uh, so we do that in the Contacts app. We do a similar thing in Calendar where different calendar sources are presented in different colors. So for example, I have a Google Calendar with my wife. Uh, we both access it from a WebOS device. She updates it from her side, I update it from mine, and we're kept perfectly in sync. Um, and I can see what's happening in my life. Um, equally in messaging, we do a Synergy allows us to bring not only text and picture messaging, but also instant messaging from GTOG, AOL. We'll have Facebook chats as well, uh, all integrated into the uh, conversation view. So communication based on who I want to speak to and not by the actual technology that I'm using to, to communicate with them. So that's HP Synergy and uh, I can just throw those cards away. Um, we also have a, this is an extremely powerful device, so it's, it's, um, despite its sort of uh, compact size, um, it's got a, as you say, a Qualcomm 7230 800-meg processor, um, 512 RAM and, and 8 gigabytes of storage, so it is very powerful. We have, uh, here you can see a range of uh, applications, I can, uh, for example, we have an Angry Birds application, and um, it's going to take a little bit of time to load, but it will support the full um, all sort of 3D gaming. Um, you can see here, um, ported very easily using the, the rich suite of uh, developer tools that we have available. I think this was ported in a matter of days from other platforms. We only just made it this morning. It's a little set to insist on showing me the, uh, the start sequence, but uh, here's the familiar sort of Angry Birds interface played on the uh, 2.6 inch. You notice it's a, it's a glass screen as well, so it's very, uh, it has a clarity and a, and a real uh, sort of brightness to it. But, uh, um, uh, you know, that, that brings a real 
high quality feel. I can pose a game in play uh, by putting it into card view and then switch and, and do something else. And then finally we have um, we have a new mode. All HP devices have supported the uh, charging. They've got an inductive uh, capability called Touchstone, but we've added a, a new feature there. Um, it's a mode called um, just find exhibition. I, I don't have the, the touchstone here, but I can simulate it. We, in, in built, we have um, three applications that can be used in that mode. One is the time. We have a photos and an agenda view. So if I start exhibition, which simulates me putting this down on the touchstone, it's an additional screen, and I can see relevant information. Maybe my agenda when it's on charge at my desk, or if it's by my bed at night, I can have the time. And it has a little day and night mode, so that it doesn't light the room up necessarily. If that's uh, what I like. Or equally, I could have it sat on the touchstone in, uh, in a photo display mode, and it can switch through all of my photos and uh, be more like a photo frame. That's great on a, on a small device, but imagine on the touchpad device we announced how um, that would be like a, a huge photo frame uh, sat in the living room, perhaps. Um, and touchstone technology is, uh, is enabling that, uh, that capability. So really, you know, to summarise, it's intended for, in a growing smartphone market, um, we're seeing... Um, Offering users choice, a lot of a lot of new devices have got large screens. They're very large. They're not particularly pocketable. Really, we want people to have choice, and um, it's a, WebOS enables a very rich experience. But uh, um, you know, this is an extremely compact device, and uh, hopefully, um, uh, you know, its design-led attributes will um, lead it to be a popular device.